Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. So today we will continue with chapter 4 uh, which is power factor and power quality. So before we go further, we uh, start with surah uh, Al-Fatiha. Okay, so now we start uh, with this chapter. Okay, so uh, this is the content title. First is the introduction to power quality. So we will uh, see on what is power quality. Eh? And then effects of the poor power quality. And then power quality problem, cost, and also solution. And then introduction to power factor, uh, power factor correction, harmonic consideration, and overview of other uh, power quality issues such as voltage sets, voltage swells, transients, and also standards for power quality. So we have to know first, what is power quality? So there are different perspectives uh, for the meaning of this uh, power quality. So, if we're referring to the equipment designer or manufacturer, they said that power quality is a perfect sinusoidal wave with no variations in the voltage and no noise present on the grounding system. Okay. Uh, while the electrical utility said power quality is a voltage availability or outage or uh, blackout. And then for the industrial or end user, uh, power quality is the power that works for whatever equipment at the end user is applying. Okay, so none of the hypothetical point of view is properly focused. Therefore, we can uh, use the IEEE definition of power quality is the concept of powering and grounding sensitive electronic equipment in a manner suitable for the equipment. And more concise definition on this uh, power quality is power quality is any power problem manifested in voltage, current, and uh, frequency deviations that results in failure or misoperation of customer equipment. Okay. So uh, we can summarize uh, about the power quality as for uh, if referring in this diagram. So basically, we have the power system. So power system is the supplier to supply the electricity. And then the consumer or loads will receive the electricity and use the, consume the electricity, the current. Okay. So basically, if supply from the uh, power, uh, from the power system, supply power from the power system, it will, uh, have to look on the voltage quality okay so they have the utility side they have to identify that uh, they have to make sure that the variations of the voltage within limitations which is uh, plus uh, six percent minus ten percent okay so they have to make sure that the voltage is within the limitation eh? uh, that involved with the voltage quality and then, uh, however, for the consumer or loads, uh, it is related to the activity of the electricity consumption that will affect the current quality. Because normally, some uh, cases, for example, from loads will, uh, will, uh, will cause the overcurrent, overload. So, the consumer will uh, leading to the current quality. Okay? And then, so therefore, the combination of this voltage and current quality will result in for the power quality. Okay. So modern load and equipments are more sensitive to power quality variations. Okay. High efficiency adjustable speed motor drives and shunt capacitors result in increasing harmonic levels. Okay, harmonic uh, in an electrical power system 
uh, a harmony is a voltage or current at a multiple of the fundamental frequency of the system produced by the action of non-linear loads such as rectifiers, discharge lighting or saturated magnetic devices. Okay, and then increase awareness of the power quality issues by the end users because of harmonics result in increased heating in the equipment and also conductors. So this is uh, what concerns in uh, power quality. Components involved in uh, PQ concerns are we have the PF which is the power factor and then we have the harmonics, voltage uh, set or dip, voltage swell and also the transient. So we will discuss in detail of these PQ concerns for next section. Okay, this is the some of the waveform concern with power quality. So we have the interruption, okay, the set or deep, the swell, the harmonics, notches, frequency changes, impulse or spikes, and interference. Okay. Sources of uh, PQ problems are uh, the end user equipment become more sensitive to PQ due to many microprocessor based control. Okay, you use many microprocessor based control will sensitive to the power quality and then complexity of industrial processes. Large co computer systems in many businesses facilities. And also power electronics equipment used for enhancing system stability, operation and efficiency. There are major source of bad power quality and are vulnerable to bad power quality as well. Okay. So this is some of the sources of loads eh, uh, of the power quality problems, for example, adjustable speed motor drives, the computers, the high intensity lighting, and also the microprocessor control equipment. Okay, uh, corrections for the uh, variations of the voltage with the limitation that I have uh, mentioned before. Um, so the voltage variations with the limitation is negative 6% plus 10%. Yeah? Okay. So we continue with the effects of the poor uh, poor quality. So this poor poor quality will affect to equipment fail uh, to function normally or equipment mal malfunctions, and then excessive wear or premature failure of equipment, increased cost from downtime, increased maintenance, repair time and expenses, and outside consultant expense. Okay, so uh, the power quality category is based on duration. So uh, for power category, power quality category, transient. The time taken is uh, for transient is around nanoseconds to three cycles, and then uh, for short duration we have instantaneous, 0 0.5 seconds to 30 cycles, momentary 30 cycles to three seconds. Temporary 3 seconds to 1 minute. And then uh, if more than 1 minute, it's considered as a long duration. And for the steady state, normally it is continuous. Okay. So this one is the uh, transients. Uh, a momentary variation in current voltage or frequency. Okay. It has impulse and also oscillate 3. Wait for Okay, and then for the short duration, we have the event of the voltage set, uh, the voltage swell, and also the voltage outage. For long duration, uh, it contains of under voltage. Okay, this is the waveform for over voltage, the voltage outage, and also the voltage interference. Okay. So we can see here in this table is about the computer equipment disturbance uh, table. Okay, if you see uh, at the suspect interference column, for example, circuit uh, board failure. 
So the disturbance is repetitive disturbances, okay, and also over voltage, okay. And then, uh, for example, miscellaneous of errors is because of the voltage set, the impulse two times nominal, impulse four times nominal, neutral, ground voltage, repetitive disturbances, and over voltage, and so on. Okay. Uh, we look on to the uh, power quality problem, cause, and also the solution. Okay. The first one, the impulse transient, uh, power quality is impulse transient. Uh, causes of impulse transient is lightning, electrostatic discharge, load switching. So how to uh, solve this problem is by using the search arrestors, filters, isolation transformers. Next is oscillatory transient, okay, because of line or cable switching and capacitor switching. So solutions is such arrestors, filters, isolation, transformers. And then uh, problem is uh, voltage sex or swell. This is because of remote system faults. Solutions is ferroresonant transformers and uninterrupted power supply. Under or over voltage because of the motor starting, the load variation. So a solutions is voltage regulators. Ferro-resonant and uh, ferro-resonant transformers. Uh, the problem is harmonic, harmonic distortion uh, causes by non-linear load system resonance. So the solution is active or passive filters, transformer with zero sequence components. And finally, voltage flicker because of the intermediate, intermittent loads, okay, such as the renewable energy. And then motor starting up furnaces. So, solutions is static bar systems. Okay, so the second part is we are going to look at what is power factor, okay, PF. So, uh, normally, industrial loads are mostly inductive type. So, I believe you have uh, know about the power factor in GTD class, okay. So, motors require uh, reactive power, Q. To set up the magnetic field and active power P to produce the useful work, shaft horsepower. Okay, the, the, so this is the uh, normal power triangle. Okay, I think I believe you know about this power triangle, right? Okay, so the theta is power factor angle. This one is P. Okay, the active power. Uh, <coughs> this one is apparent power S. And this one is Q, reactive power. So for the active power, uh, the equation is Vi cos theta or P equals to P equals to S cos theta. Okay. And then we have the apparent power. Apparent power is S equivalent to V times I. And then the reactive power Q is S sine theta. Okay. So we know here that S equivalent to P plus G Q. Okay. So to know the magnetic of the magnetic, uh, magnitude value of the apparent power, we can just use this equation. Okay, power factor is a measure measure of how efficiently uh, electrical power is consumed. Okay, for example, you can see at the first diagram, 100% of the energy burn is being used to move the runner from A to B. Okay, for example, if let's say the length from A to B is 100 meters. Okay, 100 meters. From A to B. Okay. And then this guy use, uh, for example, 1 kilojoule to reach 100 meters from A to B. Okay. We look at second uh, diagram. Second picture. 
So, C, uh, theta is 30 degree. So, only 87% of the energy burn is being used to move the runner in the horizontal direction of B. And so, extra energy will be required to achieve the same objective. Okay. With the same energy, which is 1 kilojoule, these guys, uh, this guy can run only 87 meters. So, he needs extra energy to run from A to B. Okay. So, we can, uh, we can relate this with the power factor. So, power factor, if high power factor means that power factor is uh, equivalent to 1, so the, the electrical power system will be more efficient, okay, compared to the less power factor. Okay, this is the power triangle, okay. I think that you are very familiar with this power triangle, okay. So, power triangle, uh, we'll, we will use this power triangle in order to analyze for the power factor. So, power factor is the ratio of, of active power P to apparent or total power S. Okay. So, power factor is P over S. So, equivalent to cos theta. So, this uh, power factor have lagging which is the inductive loads and also leading uh, which is capacitive loads so normally if lagging the current will be negative degree for the angle while for the leading will be positive okay so this is the uh, phasor relationship between P, Q, and S. Okay, this one is P. This one is P. And this one we have here. This one is the if the capacitive uh, Q leading. This one is the inductive Q uh, lagging. And then we have here is the S or apparent power or total power in KVE. And this one is the theta. Okay. So basically if the lagging or inductive loads, the theta will be negative. Okay. This one is the uh, lagging case. Eh? Lagging loads. Okay. So, if leading is uh, upside, so that one is theta and then this one is for leading load. Leading load and normally the theta is positive. Theta. Okay, and this one is negative. So, impact of the power, fact, uh, power factor, okay, the impact is, we can see here, uh, there will be a uh, lag between the voltage and current. So, it will have the wasted power. So, two ways of improving this power factor, okay. Uh, first, uh, we have to reduce... Uh, the lagging relative I demand of the loads. And we have to compensate lagging relative I by supplying leading relative I to the power system. Okay. So we have the PFC equipment. Could be capacitor, synchronous motor or static bar compensator. Okay. We have uh, covered this uh, thing in GT5. Okay. So... For example, here uh, we have P. Okay, so here we have uh, Q. This one is plus Q. Right. A 
Okay. Sorry. So, for example, here, this one is negative Q. Okay. So, if we consider uh, this case is uh, lagging, uh, lagging loads. So, we have lagging loads. So, it will be the Q is here. Negative Q. Okay, P is here. So, sorry, I think we have to do it. Okay, for example, uh, this one, sorry. I'll try to use this one, okay, pen. Okay, we have Q1, eh? Q1 here. So before the power factor correction, so here we have S, okay, S1. S1, so we have here is theta, oh, sorry, theta 1. Okay. And then, uh, so we have to improve. To improve this system, so that uh, the power factor will be, will be near to 1. So, we have to add components here. The leading, the leading reactive I to the power system. So, we consider here this one is the Q. Okay, this one is Q2. Okay, sorry. Okay. And then, uh, therefore, it will affect to the system. So, this one is, sorry, this one is QC. So, it will affect to the system from Q1. Okay. So, continue. Okay. This one is Q2. Okay, this one is Q2. Then, we have... Uh, the new equivalent here is S. Okay. So, we have new theta 2 here. Okay. So, theta 2 is lesser than uh, theta 1. Okay. So, the power factor will uh, approximately near to why? Eh? So that is uh, why we have to improve the power factor to make sure that the power factor uh, is equivalent to 1. Okay, this is the capacitor units for uh, power factor correction. So this is the advantages of power factor correction. So first is the this one is power consumption losses. Yeah? Power consumption losses is reduced. But the power consumption is increased. Okay. So, for example, here we have um, S equivalent to 10 VA. Okay. So, we have PF1 equivalent to 1 and then PF2 equivalent to 0 0.85. For example, uh, so we know that P equivalent to S time PF. Okay. So, P1 Resulting to 10 times 1, which is 10 watt. And P2 is 10 times 0 0.85 equivalents to 
support. Okay. So as you can see here, with high power factor, the power consumption increase while the power consumption losses is decreased. Uh, second is the electricity bills uh, reduced. So as we have studied in chapter 2 uh, in this subject, in calculation for electricity charges, with low power factor will increase the electricity bills. And uh, reduce heating in equipment. Okay. So, for example, we have um, the same case here. S equivalent to P over PF power factor. So, for the first case, 10 divided by 1. So, we have 10 VA. Okay. And then, if let's say uh, we have the second one is uh, P is 10 divided by 0 0.85. This one is, if let's say the power is constant, then we have 11.764 VA. Okay. So, with the same power, but the apparent power or the total power is uh, different. The capacity of the uh, equipment is increased. Then it will increase uh, the heating in equipment. So therefore, we have to uh, increase the power factor so that it can reduce the heating in equipment. And then increase the equipment life. Uh, transformer and distribution equipment, I spread R losses will be reduced, extra KVE availability from the existing supply, and reduction of voltage drop in the electrical system. Okay, so uh, advantages of the power factor correction uh, continues. So, benefits of installing the capacitors is supply the reactive power, which is the leading or capacitive uh, required by the inductive loads. And as we know that when the power factor is increased, therefore the apparent power is decreased with the same power, uh, the active power. So, it will... Um, resulting in decreased conductor size. So we have here is the utility supplies uh, Q okay for the reactive power for the first uh, diagram and then the second is the capacitor which supplies the Q. Okay for the first one is when the KVA or the apparent power is 141 well, the power factor is 0 0.7. So, the Q, KVAR is 100. Okay. So, when uh, the power factor we increase, the system we increase to 0 0.8. Okay. The apparent power will be decreased to 125 and decrease in Q. Okay. And then uh, the final one is if the power factor is 1, okay, so the KVA is 100 and the power is 100 kilowatt, which is very efficient. There is no losses in the system. So benefits of installing uh, capacitors, uh, we can reduce the power losses as I mentioned before. So, how to calculate the power losses is by using this equation. Percentage of loss reduction equivalent to 100 times 1 minus original power factors divided by desired power factors squared. Okay. And then, uh, reduce the voltage drop. But anyway, uh, we have to monitor the voltage uh, we have to monitor the voltage and also the power factor because if a severe overcorrection will cause a voltage rise that can damage insulation and equipment. 
So this is the formulation in order to calculate the percentage of voltage rise, which is capacitor uh, KVAR uh, Q times transformer percentage uh, Z and divided by the transformer KVA. Okay. Okay, so we continue with the power factor correction, example 1. An industrial consumer has the following loads. The first one is 9 kilowatt of lighting at unity power factor. Means that the power factor equivalent to 1. Second is a motor taking 12 kVA. This one is the apparent power. At 0 0.75 power factor lagging. Third is a number of small motors taking 15 kilowatt the active power at 0 0.6 power factor lagging. So the loads are balanced over the three phases of 400 volt supply system. So we have to determine the first one is the total um, kilowatt KVAR KVA. So P, Q and S. B, the overall power factor. And then C is the line current. Okay. So the solution first, you can do it in a table form. Okay. So load first, second and third scenario. So the first one is 9 kilowatt. So we just take it from the, from the question. So the power is 9 kilowatt. And then KVAR is 0 because of P power factor equivalent to 1. Okay. The second one is uh, given only the apparent power and also the power factor lagging. Okay. So, you have to do uh, first is the power triangle. So, as you know that the power triangle. So we have theta here, we have Q here, uh, okay, we have to analysis by using the, uh, the power triangle, okay, so we have the power triangle here, so theta, P, Q and S, okay. So as we know that cos theta equivalent to P over S and sin theta is Q over S. Okay. So for the second scenario, given that S equivalent to 12, the power factor is 0 0.75. Okay. So you have to get the theta first, which is cos minus 1, 0 0.75. You get 41.4 degree. Okay. So from here, from here, you know that P equivalent to S cos theta. Okay. So S is 12 given in the questions. Times with the 0 0.5, then you can get 9. Sorry, 9. Okay. Uh, that's why here is 9. Okay. Okay. Uh, then you calculate Q equivalent to S sine theta. So you got 12 times sine 41.4 degree. Then you'll get 7.936 kVAR. So this one reflect to the second one. Okay. And then for the third scenario, so you have to calculate what is the uh, Q? Okay. So what is the Q? So we know that uh, given that P equivalent to 
15 kilowatt. And then power factor is 0 0.6. So theta equivalent to 53.13 okay, degree. So you have to calculate what is Q uh, equivalent to S sine theta. Right. So you have to find what is S. S is P over power factor. So P is 15 kilowatt. You divide by 0 0.6, then you get 25 kV. Okay, then you uh, insert here. Okay, sign 53.13, then you get 20 K. V A R. So here you add here. Okay. So you got what is the value for the P and also Q for all the scenario. Then you have to sum up this column and also the Q column. Then you get 33 kilowatt uh, with 27.936 kV A R. Okay. So, you know that S equivalent to P plus JQ. So, P is uh, 33. Okay. And then plus, uh, okay, kilowatt plus with J27.36 kVAR. Okay. So you want to uh, identify what is the magnitude. So you just use this uh, equation. Okay, then you can get the overall apparent power, which is 43.23 kVA. Okay, and then you have to uh, calculate what is the uh, overall power factor. So overall power factor is equivalent to P you divide by S. Okay. Then you can get 0 0.763 lagging. Okay. And then you have to calculate what is the line current. So line current as you know that S equivalent to 3i v phase okay so s equivalent to 3i v line to line you divide by set 3 okay so you get um s equivalent to set 3i v line to line then you can get i equivalent to S over set 3 V line to line. So this equation you use inside here. Then you can get the line current which is 62.4 amps. Okay. So done for the solution example 1. The second one is the example 2. You have to calculate A. The total KVAR, which is the Q, uh, to be supplied by a capacitor bank in order to improve the overall power factor of the system from the example 1 to 0 0.9 power factor lagging. So we have calculated before that the power factor is uh, 0 0.763 okay, lagging. So we have to calculate what is the um, total KVR if the power factor is 0 0.9. And then B is the value of capacitance required assuming that the capacitors are connected first in star connection and second in delta connection. Okay, so uh, first... 
the solution is okay so you have to draw the power triangle so from the example one we know that p equivalent to 33 kilowatt and then s equivalent to 43.23 kva and then we know that um, the q so this one is q1 okay so q1 is equivalent to 27.936 kb ar okay so you have to divide here this one is q2 this one is qc okay so we have in the first uh, the the first question a we have to find what is qc okay so qc is b c okay first um this one is the uh the first theta theta one and then this one theta two is the power factor equivalent to 0 0.9 okay so cos theta two equivalent to 0 0.9 so theta two is 25 point 35.84 degree okay so how you want to get this bc or qc okay so this one is the first one we have to find what is the qc so you have to okay 27 point of course you have to do uh, qc equivalent to q1 minus q2 right okay so you know what is Q1. So Q1 is 27.936. Then you have to get what is Q2. So Q2, of course, you know that we have here. We have here is 25.84. Okay. And then uh, we have here is P equals to, sorry, P equals to 33 kilowatt and then you can get from here you can get what is Q2 by using tangent theta equivalent to Q2 over 33 kilowatt okay then you can get Q2 equivalent to 33 kilowatt times with tangent uh, 25.84 okay so here is q2 then after that you solve this uh, equation then you can get the bc or qc is 11.699 kvar preface okay so in order you want to find the single phase uh, so you can divide it by 3 then you can get the uh, QC for uh, single phase is 3.989 kVAR okay so the second one this one is B so the question is we have to find what is the capacitance required okay to um, to correct the power factor if the system in star connection and the second one is in delta connection so the first one is in star connection so qc this is the equation to get the capacitance equivalent to b squared over x t okay so for the star connection v equals equivalent to i v phase okay this one is v phase v phase equivalent to v line to line over z3 okay this one is for uh, star connection okay so uh, as we know that the voltage line to line is 400 volt then you can get the v phase is 230 volt so after that you use the previous equation for 
to find the xc so xc equivalent to v divided by q then you can get 13.26 ohm uh, xc equals to 1 over 2 pi f c and then you can get c equivalent to r1 over 2 pi times 50 for the frequency times 13.26 then you can get 200 